Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the fourth capsule video. In this video we are going to talk about ACOG two-step screening for gestational diabetes mellitus that is GDM. Now let's start with the step number one. What is step number one in which we are going to do non-fasting, remember non-fasting two-hour glucose challenge test in which we are going to give the patient 50 gram of glucose as oral intake without any fasting and then after exit two hours we are going to measure the glucose levels if it comes more than 7.8 millimole per liter or more than 140 milligram per deciliter then this is called step one positive now these patients are now taken for step two and if the glucose level is less than 140 mg per dl or less than 7.8 millimole per liter then nothing to do patient is diagnosed as a not having gdm now if the step one comes positive then step two is performed and step two is what it is a OGTT oral glucose tolerance test for three hours okay now in this method the patient comes with at least eight hours of fasting when the patient comes to you with fasting you will do a fasting blood sugar or blood glucose level measurement it should come less than 5.3 millimole per liter or less than 95 mg per dl now if the patient uh, if, if this comes then give the patient of 100 mg of glucose whatever the results come here you should give the 100 milligram of glucose as an oral intake then after one hour you will measure again the glucose test the cutoff here is 10 millimole per liter and 180 mg per deciliter now after two hours the cutoff is 8.6 millimole per liter and less than 155 mg per dl and now the, after three hours the cutoff is less than 7.8 millimole per liter and less than 140 mg per dl if any of this uh, cutoff is crossed then the patient again uh, uh, diagnosed as a having GDM and if in this test the cutoff remains less than these values or the values come less than this cutoff then the patient is now diagnosed as not having GDM thank you